Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah One of the things which is well known is that using your time wisely is uh, beneficial for you and this is known as a something known from common sense and something which is very well documented in the religion of Islam and we know this especially from the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam from how he spent his life his life sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and how the salaf al-salihin how the righteous predecessors they spent their lives as well and we know that uh, this means that it is imperative to spend our time wisely to use your time wisely and the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said most people what means he paraf to paraphrase a uh, hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that most people there are two things which most people they uh, most people they wasted and he said asiha wa farag he said one's health and one's time bin baz rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatul wasiya mentioned a beautiful statement about the importance of min, uh, of using one's time in his majmu'a fatawa, he said, well, walked who al hayat. He said, life, uh, uh, time, it is life. And he said, woman, adha'a walked who adha'a hayatuhu. And whoever wastes their time, they waste their life. وَمَنْ أَضَعَ مَنْ أَضَعَ حَيَاتُهُ نَدَمَ وَلَا تَنْفَعُهُ نَدَامَ So then he said, Whoever wastes his life and is saddened, his sadness will not benefit him. So look at, when we look at the wisdom of this imam of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, and how his wisdom is in accordance with the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And that through that wisdom, you see the importance of one's time. And you also can observe that how the person who wastes their time, and we see this from real life experience, how many people say, oh, I wish I would have done in their old age? How many elderly people do you know that say these statements? Or people who've just gotten a little bit older, or even yourself, as you get older, even if you're in your early 20s, how the, some of the things you wish you would have done to be better and to be at a better position now in your early 20s that you wish you'd have done in your teens to prepare for this instead of wasting time instead of doing sins or whatever the case may have been for you so that becomes a waste of time look at the cycle of waste when you waste your time and you're wasting your life and you will inshallah come to a stage in your life where you realize the waste of time and you feel sorrow but the sorrow at that point will be a waste of time. And so I think that that's very clear and shows us the importance of using our time. And something else I want to mention, and this is in accordance with the hadith that we mentioned, is the importance of your health. And that, of course, in the context of the hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we see that when a person is younger and they're healthier, they're able to do more ibadah. That's just a given. They, are, they have the capability of doing more ibadah, even if they don't have as much knowledge and wisdom as they may have attained throughout the years, hopefully. And, but their strength, their physical strength, and possibly mental capacity as well, is better when you're younger to be able to fulfill the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that brings to mind the importance of also taking care of your health. And I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to take care of yourself. So take care of yourself physically, 
mentally and spiritually. Find a regime for working out, taking care of yourself. Find, or even if it's walking, find a regime for eating. Your diet is imperative. Of course, only eat halal. But make sure that you have a balanced diet and you clean yourself from time to time with the appropriate herbs using apple cider vinegar, have your honey, your black seed, and all the various herbs and essential oils and other natural products that will, and if you can eat organic, eat organic. And these habits will help you in your ibada and your longevity. A clean lifestyle helps to have clean thoughts and to be clean spiritually if you are trying to consciously put it all together. And purify yourself most importantly with your ibada. Take time to spiritually cleanse yourself by fasting. Where the Prophet ﷺ mentioned about the Mondays and Thursdays, that those are times to fast. So try to fast. And that's encouragement to myself first, and then you. Incorporate that into your lifestyle to get that spiritual cleanse, that spiritual purification, and think pure and positive thoughts. Busy yourself with khair because the time is short. The time is amazingly short. I, it's amazing when I think about the things in my life, you know, and how many people have disappeared. How many people who were beloved to me from my family and from my Muslim brothers. Some who didn't, and, and even non-Muslims that I knew that didn't even make it to 30 or 35. Cancer ravaged them. So using your health for worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and using your time. So also try to make yourself a schedule, a plan for whatever you're doing. And make sure you're spending some time doing some talib al-ilm. I can't emphasize it enough. Not everybody, like I said, needs to be a big student of knowledge and have a bunch of books and this and that and the other. But... Reserve some time to know more about your religion. Nor know what is obligatory upon you. The Prophet ﷺ said, Talib al-ilm, wajibun ala kulli muslim wa muslima. That seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim man and female. So letting us know that there is an obligatory amount of knowledge that we need to know. And... This is going to help you become closer to Allah. It's going to help you give cl have clarity. It's going to help, help you have light in your life. And it's going to help you just be a better human being and a better mu'min in general. So try to use your time in a wise fashion. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and to put barakah in our time. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to where we can make tafarrug and doing da'wah and seeking knowledge. Amin, ya rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.